What are you doing? Huh? Oh, um, using Darth Vader because I'm making a an intro to one of your videos. Really? Yeah, yeah, it's gonna be great. I'm gonna say stuff like Darth Vader's voice. No, I'll, I'll do the breathing part. You do the voice. Okay, okay. Ready? okay. YouTubers, you must watch this video. <laughs> We are the worst. <laughs> Hello again, it's Christina with my son. Tiberius. And today I wanted to show you all the things that I have collected to bring hey. oomph into my game. What are you guys doing? Oomph? Yes, oomph. Is this nerd stuff? Mm, it's nerd stuff. No, it's not nerd stuff. It's, 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 it's nerd stuff. It's nerd stuff. No. Well, since you're here, do you have any questions? Yes. What's this? And this, yeah. and this, yeah. and what's this? Ooh, those are boobs. That's what's gonna get us YouTube followers. <laughs> watch, it's the boob show. Oh, can I watch the boob show? As long as you're with me, you can watch whatever you want. That's the power of auntie. Yeah, that's my boy. And back to Cleavage Corner. No, stop. No? Oh. <sighs> Stop it. Uh oh. So, since you are here, let me welcome my special guest, my sister, Heather. And what we were talking about was my collection of coins. Your coin collection? Well, your coin collection that I use when I want, for whatever I want. And uh. this is some of the things I use them for. So, they are great to help up your board games. I'm a big board game player. Also role playing games and card games. And you can start with the basics. These are some basic coins that you can get in any sort of old pirate like shop. Being in Florida, we have a lot here. So these are cheap, easy, but they're kind of plain and dull. And these, you know, they're like the Pirates of the Caribbean. The Pirates of the Caribbean. They are really nice, but they're kind of big and dull and heavy and expensive. Yeah, it would cost a lot of money to get a big collection of those coins. So both of these were not enough for me or for my collection. So I found these really cool Aussie company called Campaign Coins. And these are really pretty. I like the design in many of these coins. A little far away, but I'll, I'll try and get some close ups. Yes, close up with all of it. Yes, dear. Okay. So, the problem with some of the Aussie campaign coins is they're hard to stack and they're kind of little. They're really small, like they might blow away in the wind, small. So, they weren't exactly what we wanted. So, the lovely Kickstarter came out. In the Kickstarter, the first one we did was Minion Games, the Dragon Coins. They have some really strange colors though. Like turquoise. Like turquoise. But. I love the designs of the dragons. It reminds me of how to train your dragon. Toothless. What's also cool is they are one of the few companies that do futuristic coins. So if you like cyberpunk or firefly or stars, you have some cool futuristic coins. But the company is really weird because they designed some of these coins for their actual board games. And they're not selling these in any stores. They're lucky if you'll find some on their website. Yes, you can still find these on their website. I was looking at them today. So the next step up was Kickstarter came out with two companies. One's in Athens, Greece, and one is a U.S. company. Interesting. Wait, wait, wait. You know about this nerd stuff. Tell us what you know. Okay. Well, I know about gems, okay? These gems here, you can get at like the Disney store, you get the little bag. And what I do is when I go to Renaissance fairs or anything like that, if I see a cute little kid dressed up in a cute costume, I'll give them a gem. Now these Aww. ones here, yeah, I know, it's sweet. These ones here are a little bit bigger and more, I don't know, cartoonier. But I'll do anything for these gems. Anything? Anything. Like jumping off a bridge? You do, you do know it's not a real gem, right? <laughs> okay. Now these over here, these are newer, and they're made out of some sort of like glass-like material, very durable and stuff, and uh, they're cute little designs, and I haven't quite figured out what I'll be using these for. 
So there's two major companies that I know of that are doing fantasy based coins. Now this one is the fantasy coins and they have great packaging and the designs are beautiful and there's many designs that you can use for a plethora of gaming. Yeah, the one that's all the way to your left, which is my right, are the new boxes. Point those out. These, right here. Uh, the coins fit snugly into the box, and if you don't have a place to display your coins, it's a thick, sturdy, hard box that you can probably keep forever. And Candido, didn't I get you a set of coins? Oh, yes, and they're right here. And got I got the bag. goblin set. You got a goblin set. And the goblin set is also displayed over here. Okay, I'll do close-ups of that towards the end. And well, they look very good, and they have a bunch of little designs. And what do you use it for? Well, for magic, I use I can use them for plus one plus one counters, and I use them for life tokens. You mean Magic the Gathering, the card game? Oh yes. Of course, you use it for RPGs, right? Yeah, for currencies and stuff, and they're very unique. I also use them for Pokemon, for coin flips, and all of those things. Oh, okay, that's cool. So you like your your bag? Yep. And since the bag is very nice and it can hold a lot of coins, the metal is also very heavy. So now I got a nice little weapon. Oh, so if I hit you, night night. <sighs> Let's talk now. Hey, Christina, keep going, keep going, keep going. We're not gonna so, go. we also have Draw Labs there in Athens, Greece, and these are their legendary coins. It's a night nightmare to ship. They are a nightmare to ship because they're so far away, but they are also lovely and have 10 different sets as well. I like the capital set. This is my favorite set right here. They're also the biggest of the coins, and they're huge, and you get more for your book. Not like more coins, but... Bigger More, bang for your buck. Yeah, bigger bang for your buck. They're nice and large and hefty. So all these really immerse you into the gaming world. So any role player, I suggest, should get into some coins to really kind of get that feel of gaming and feel like, look, look my coins. I'm awesome. Well, Heather, you were just talking about gems, but it's not only coins and gems that they have. I mean, I see some bars there in the back. Yes, there are some bars here, and like I said before, you know, I would do anything for these. I mean, if I was go to a role playing game and someone drops down some bricks of gold, or especially this one here, a hefty beast. That's that big hefty beast, and they don't go wows or whatever, then you're playing with the wrong people there. <laughs> they're gonna, you're gonna drop that on the table, and they're gonna go wowzer. <laughs> wowzer. Wowzer. Oh. Wowzer. So if they don't go exactly like, hey. Wowzer! So you're playing with the wrong out. people. You're Kick them out of your house. Yeah. Kick them right out of your house. Get out of your life. Out of there. Who doesn't? Who needs people that don't say Wowzer in their life? <laughs> who, need, who does? You gotta say Wowzer every once in a while. <laughs> that was great. So of course, the most common way to use these coins is role playing. Now, who can pass up the sound of jingling coins as they cross by? Oh, I like that noise. I like this. Or have a pouch that you can just go. More ale, please. <laughs> okay. And then you can use them for tons of games. And if you like sci-fi, like I do, you can always toss in some credits. So we'll start here with the cheaper coins. These are, like you said, your basic doubloons. Then we can pan over here and we have some specialty coins. Yeah, some one-shotters. Some one-shotters. If you can guess what these are, leave a comment. I would like to see if you can figure it out. Pirates of the Caribbean. Pirate Caribbean. Look at those. We have our bars. Oh, giant bars. Speaking of gems. bars, you know how much great. I love a good mystery. This is a bar that's done from the fantasy queens, but I Flip use it. it. Over, show the other side. I use it for a awesome. Cthulhu role playing game as a key. And I also use some of their coins in that game or in my Arkham Horror board game. Oh man, look at that. Look, that's, that is really cool and hefty. Yeah, really heavy. it's very heavy. Those are sci-fi coins. Sci-fi coins. Goes up to what, like 100,000 in denomination? 5,000, yes. Yeah, 100,000, yeah. yep. And then you got the dragon coins. And show them one of the cool close-ups, like lay it on your palm. So they can see how cool these uh, dragon card coins look compared to, you know, how to train your dragon. I, it reminds me of that movie. You see the 
Sorry, it's a bad cell phone. Well, not a bad cell phone, just shouldn't be shooting videos. And then we're showing you... These are the draw lab coins. Uh -huh. And how big those are. Huge. Yeah. And those are different sets that you can see there. And then over here, there's a division between the fantasy and the draw yeah, labs. Yeah, I think the first two sets there, that's draw labs. And then these are legendary coins. I mean, uh... What's that called? Fantasy coins. Fantasy coins. Did you do these? I think, yes, you did. So then we have these nice boxes over here. Oops. Sorry. But That's I can't okay. want to work on that camera, man. Plus, I'm also a little bit blind. I don't know what I'm showing you. My perfect blind cameraman. Yeah, that's great. And then, these are what we were talking about. These are the new boxes that they come in. Ever since their new run, they uh, changed the way the boxes run. But these are the goblin sets, like my son said. He has one. Comes in these nice boxes. And if you notice, these are other future coins that I like a lot. And they are perfect because um, I made sure they gave it to me with non-denomination. So I can use these coins for whatever I want and have it represent however I want the money. Um, really thick cardboard and foam inserts so you separate the gold, silver, and the copper pieces. And these are thick. Video magic! And we're back. And my sister wants video to magic. talk about... Yes, video magic. No, okay, keep going. My sister wanted to talk about her love of pirate gaming and how to use coins in games. Yes, I got this deluxe version of this um, Dread Pirate, which comes in a nice wooden box with a magnet um, seal. And it comes with this um, cloth map. Cloth map and metal ships. That's cool. Yeah, yeah, metal ships. The only problem is I had to bling it out. I put these you blinged out a deluxe version? I blinged out a deluxe version. Now it's super bling deluxe. It's super bling deluxe. It's bling lux. Bling delicious. <laughs> bling delicious. Yeah. Now I put these plastic gems in here and of course metal coins. And now it's perfect. So what do you have here, sissy? I don't know. But it's pirates and booyah. Blinged it out with metal coins. So you can use those metal coins for almost anything. You can't use it for more than pirate games, right? Yes. You could, but pirate games. You don't even know what this is. What? What's the name of this game? Um, Pirateology. Oh, this you is your game, and you don't even. even you had to read it off the box. That is a cool skull in the Pirates. center of the board. It is. Yeah, I know. We played this game. It was really good, but I'm the only one that remembers it because nobody loves me. I love you. So, like my son had said earlier, another way to use these coins is with a game such as Magic the Gathering. So, I use plus one plus one counter, creature counters, as well as life. Are you ready? I do the same thing, except mine's as much seat neater, and I'm about to beat you. Really? Yeah. You're using Yu-Gi-Oh, Matt. Whatever. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do, old woman. Pretty. Well, it looks like we lost our special guest, so we need to do a closing. Go. So be it board games, role playing games, or even a bit of gambling, coins are the easiest way to upgrade your games. Yeah, because gambling is family friendly fun, right? It's fake money. Mmm. So, this is my little review. Wait, that wasn't a review. Fine, this is my little chat about all the things I love. You do like coins. I do. I'm not getting them back, are I? Am I? Until next time. That's good, I guess. This is cards for a company that does things. Look at me. This is another card for another company. They do things. Look at it. Bye.